Hey, how y'all doing tonight? I want y'all to know that uh, security is really good here because when I walked in with this, they said, are there any explosives in there? And I said, no. And they said, okay, go in. But anyway, this is my uh, original uh, record tote, I guess they called them back then in the Stone Age, back when vinyl was still around. Y'all remember that? But anyway, here it is, the record that was my downfall and uplifting, my original copy of Dancing in the Street, which... Uh, I ruined it on a portable Sears record player, but I kept it anyway because this is the record that changed my life. Because in 1964, I heard this song driving along with my parents. Uh, my father hated rock and roll, so luckily my mother would leave the, you know, soul record station on the, you know, radio. But anyway, I heard this song and I was totally galvanized. And uh, immediately when I got home, I got my six transistor radio and stuck it to my ear until they played it again. And it was the second time they played Dancing in the Street in uh, Oceanport, New Jersey. And uh, as soon as it hit the charts, drove to the A&P, to the record section, and bought it. And uh, from that point on, it was Martha and the Vandellas. Um, every song they ever released, uh, I was there buying it. When I found out that I could get uh, Detroit radio on my kitchen radio, instead of doing homework, I would just, nine o'clock at night, it was Motown. And uh, the incredible voices of uh, Martha and the Vandellas, uh, their songs and their music inspired me. I realized I wanted to be an up-tempo person. And uh, it also turned me into what my mother called a record nut. So I have everything and anything Martha and everybody at Motown ever bought. And uh, one thing I've noticed is that even though their songs have been covered over the years by many other artists, you never hear them because the original Martha and the Vandellas songs by Martha and the Vandellas are the real thing with yeah. sincerity and excitement. And I don't know about you, but I love Martha and the Vandellas. Yeah. Hey. All right. Fred, what is a Vandella? It's a combination of Van Dyke Street in Detroit and Martha's favorite singer, Della Reese. All right. When I he first heard the lines to Martha and the Vandellas dancing in the street, I was crazy. I said, they have got it. When I heard the honey har harmonies of the Vandellas and Martha's mysterious voice, it was my call to party down. It meant freedom, wildness, and unity. Even though it doesn't matter what you wear, they still had those dresses and that hair. So I want to thank Martha and the Vandellas for making music that's absolutely timeless. So I want to introduce my friends, Martha Reeves, Rosalind Holmes, Annette Helton, Betty Kelly, and Lois Reeves, the greatest girl group of all time, or female group, or whatever, one of the greatest groups of all time, Martha and the Vandellas. Ladies, come and get these memories. Martha. Rosalind Holmes. Betty Kelly. Annette Helton. My sister Lois Reeves. This is indeed an honor and a pleasure, and um, we're overwhelmed. We've been with TWA all day long. <laughs> we, we started out at 5 o'clock this morning trying to get here to get this award. What a special occasion, and uh, 
we owe half of the day to TWA. The reason you see more than three members on stage, who we were three signed ladies to Motown Records in 1962, Rosalind Holmes and Annette Helton and I got together in 1958. And um, my sister Lois was much too young to be a Vandello when we first had hit records, but as soon as she was old enough and mom taught us all to sing, I recruited she and Delphine Reeves. My sister Delphine Reeves is here in the house. But I want you to know that this is another fine mess that I've gotten you girls into. <laughs> Would you like to say anything? I just want to say thank you. This is an honor. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I want to thank Martha, Rosalind, and Annette for allowing me to work with them for the years that I did. I was in another group, uh, the Velvelettes so from what, Motown. So <laughs> <laughs> and they picked me to replace Annette. And it was one of the greatest thrills of my life. And to this day, they are my favorite group, girls group, for always. <laughs> this is... <laughs> She's the greatest, and we did a lot of Motown shows, and whenever Martha and the Vandellas was on the show, not sliding the Marvelettes, not sliding the Supremes, but this lady kicked butt. <laughs> so, again, I would like to say thank you, and also to Lois for being a member of the group, and we thank you for giving us this honor. I'd like to say this is indeed an honor. Even though my clothes are floating around the United States somewhere on TWA, I'm here and thank you very much. Being the baby of the group, I'm, I'm proud to say that I'm very proud to be a part of Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, not because Martha is my sister, because I think Martha, Martha is one of the finest, most gracious entertainers in the world. We have been through a lot today, but you never know it. Thank you, Martha. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank God. And God bless you all. Thank you, Fred. <laughs>